Deontay Wilder, 32-0 and zero against Bermain Stavern, who's actually based in Las Vegas. Now, I caught up with Bomb Squad, Deontay Wilder, a bit earlier, and I asked him, because I know he's a boxing fan, whether he was as, as excited for this fight as I am. Oh, man, I'm super excited. I can't, bro. Not. I cannot say another night. I cannot wait for this fight. I'm super excited. I'm excited for the fans. I'm excited for the people that's going to attend. I'm sorry for the people that's going to be watching, you know, because they're in for a great treat, you know, come January the 17th. And um, I, I advise anybody that's, that's, that don't know, find out about this fight and, and, and tune in because it's going to be a great fight. Now, Deontay, are you surprised that Bermain took the fight? Because um, a lot of people uh, thought that he was maybe trying to wiggle out of it and didn't want to fight you. And you, I think, said something like that. Were you surprised and relieved when he finally signed the contract? I mean, I was surprised that he took it because he uh, really he, he 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 puts it out as if he he had a choice to do what he want, but he really did. He didn't have a choice. He had to fight. You know, I, I was the mandatory and rules. You know, when 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 you win a when you fight for a vacant belt, you must fight your mandatory before you fight anyone else. You know, if they might just being a regular champion, then you fight a, a mandatory. Then uh, when you fight somebody, then you, you have a choice of fighting valetory and mandatory. In this case, he fought for a vacant belt, which made him champion. So he had to fight his mandatory belt, his mandatory challenger mm -hmm. by WBC rules. And um, so he had to fight me. He either fight me or get stripped, which one you wanted to do. Absolutely. So he decided to fight so, you. Deontay, let me ask you this. Are you, do you get that sense of history that you are the man that's going to bring the heavyweight division back to America and put that excitement in? Do you have that sense of history on your shoulders? I definitely do. I definitely do. Um, I, 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 me along with a lot of other guys that are in the heavyweight division. You know, the heavyweight division is definitely going in the right direction. And um, it definitely started with this fight. This is uh, one of the most exciting um, heavyweight bouts in a long time, and it's starting. And we starting the year off with this one right here. You know, um, people always dwell on the back of the day, back in the day, back in the day when it was like that. Well, back in the day, it was a lot of things going on that is in a we're in a whole totally new time zone, new generation. Back in the day, that was boxing was one of the main sports. It was on local TV. They mm -hmm. fought every month or so. You know, now in modern time. Yeah, uh, you know, we have so many other sports going on. Then now to even fight a have a, to even see a good fight, you have to pay for it or it had to be on some kind of uh, cable prescriber. You know, it's not like it used to be back in the day. So people have to leave the past and get with the future because it's, it's, it's two different things now. And, um, and I'm trying to make it better. I'm trying to bring the excitement. I'm trying to be a champion. that's not just show my face once or twice a year, but I'm at least trying to get in there three if I'm lucky, four times a year, just keep active and, and make the best fights possible. And with the promotion and with the promoters that they're putting aside their differences with other promoters, that makes it great because now we can fight other fighters in other promotions now. Now we just, um, it's not limited now. So, man, everything is evolving beautifully, man. I just hope that we can bring it back because uh, the heavyweight division is definitely in the right direction. It is. Now, you, you, you've said the right things there. Forget the past. Concentrate on the future. Concentrate on the present and the future. You're talking about fighting three or four times. Should you beat Stiverne? There are a lot of good fighters out there for you, but what dangers does Stiverne deliver in the opposite corner? What is his major, major problem for you? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, you know, I don't... Nothing I see is, is, is a problem for me, you know, uh... The thing about it, I don't, me and him got bad blood. And this is, this, I, uh, oh, my goodness, I can't not wait, well, man. De De Deontay, where does the bad blood come from? It, well, it came from an uh, 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 interview he did out of jealousy towards me, you know, and the way he was describing my name, the way he was putting my name in sentences, the way he was, he was just saying he had so much yeah. grit, so much anger in his voice. And he said, Deontay, why am I knock him? I'm going to show him that he's nothing. You know, Oof. before all it, 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 it was coming from a, a, a side of jealousy because he felt like, you know, why is this guy, every time he turns around, he hears my name. He hears my name everywhere he goes. And, he's, and then he felt like, you know, nobody knows him or he wasn't known, you know. So it kind of frustrated him. And he started using my name in such terms. And I felt a certain type of way I, to the point that I said, when I see this guy in person, 
I'm going to confront him. And so I did. You know, uh, Floyd had fought uh, Madonna, and um, I saw him there, and I ran up to him. Mm-hmm. And I told him that uh, if, if, he, if he beat Ariola, then I'm going to whoop his ass. And I told him that in front of everybody. Nobody still knew. Everybody thought I was talking to a fan. Mm-hmm. They didn't know what was going on. They thought he was just an average fan. I told him, May, uh, May 10th, you beat Chris Ariola, I'm going to whoop your ass. And he, did, he, he was in disbelief that I was just mandatory. He didn't want to believe it for a long time. What? Uh, but um, that, that's where it started. And here we are now. You know, of course, I've done a lot of talking because that's what I do. I'm an entertainer. And but, it, and um, it, and but it, come on, come January the 17th, they're going to see, not only can I talk, but I'm going to do my walking as well, too. Well, listen, we're looking forward to it. Deontay, before I pay you off, can you give us one of your trademark bomb squads, please? Bomb squad! Deontay, it's a pleasure and a delight talking to you. We'll see you again here on Box Nation on the 17th. Deontay, thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Y'all have a wonderful day.